Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we'll discuss formulating appropriate null and alternative hypothesis on a population proportion. So, on the previous discussion that we have, you have learned all the steps on how to test hypothesis concerning population mean and sample mean using the critical approach. This time, you will learn how to test hypothesis involving another parameter, the population proportion. So first, uh, as what you know, the first step in hypothesis testing is to formulate the null and alternative hypothesis. So, uh, now let us familiarize the symbol na gagamitin natin. Kung dati yung population mean, no, yung ginagamit natin, this time population proportion. So itong symbol na yung gagamitin natin. Okay? And then yung... For hypothesis proportion, so itong symbol naman yung gagamitin natin. So, paano, nat, paano nga ulit tayo nagpo-formulate ng null and alternative hypothesis? So, we all know that na, the null hypothesis states that the proportion is equal to a specific value or the hypothesis proportion. The null hypothesis is always a statement of equality. So, uh, laging ginagamit natin pag null a uh, hypothesis is yung equal symbol. Okay, as you can see, so ganito natin siya uh, itatranslate into symbol. And kapag alternative hypothesis naman, so the alternative hypothesis is competing claim that, that the population proportion is less than, greater than, or not equal. Okay, so kapag to the population proportion, uh, hypothesis proportion. So kailangan nyo lang, no? kailangan nyo lang makita yung mga word na kadalasan, yun yung magsasabi sa atin kung less than or greater than ba yung gagamitin. So, let's say, pag less than, so less than, ang gagamitin nyo lang yan kapag nabanggit sa yung mga clinic claims sa problem, yung word na smaller, less, de decrease, fewer, and lower. So, less than ang gagamitin natin. Greater than, kapag uh, nakita nyo, na ang word na ginamit is larger, greater, more, and increase. And then, not equal naman kapag different, okay, not equal to change. So, madali lang naman tayo mag-formulate ng null and alternative hypothesis since meron na kayo prior dito sa lesson na to, meron na kayong idea how to formulate the null and alternative hypothesis. Okay, so ito yung Kapag tinanslate natin into sa symbol, ang alternative hypothesis natin, so alin man dito sa tatlo. No? Depende sa uh, mga ginamit. Okay, so ito yung mga pwede nyong tandaan para ma-identify natin kung less than, greater than, and not equal yung gagamitin natin symbol. So also, in this uh, video lesson, we're going to identify the hypothesis test, kung one-tailed ba yan or two-tailed test. So, ulit, paano natin malalaman na one-tailed and two-tailed test? So, letters A and B are used in a one-tailed test or a one-sided test or in tinatawag din nating directional. While letter C is used for a two-tailed test or the non-directional. So, pa, again, paano natin malalaman na one-tailed and two-tailed test? So, una yung titingnan lagi sa symbol ng alternative hypothesis class. So, hindi na natin to isa-isahin. No? Sa alternative hypothesis tayo titingin. Kapag not equal ang ginamit no, na symbol for alternative hypothesis, yan ay two-tailed test or it has no direction. Again, kapag uh, not equal ang ginamit na symbol sa alternative hypothesis nyo, two-tailed test yan. Pero kapag greater than or less than, one-tailed test yan. So kapag greater than, yan ay right-tailed test. And then kapag less than, left-tailed test yan. So it is a directional, either right-tailed or left-tailed test. So yan ang pa madali lang uh, i-identify yung hypothesis test. Kasi doon natin siya makikita sa symbol na ginamit sa alternative hypothesis. Okay, for example, it has been claimed that 40% of students in a particular senior high school dislike mathematics. 
when a survey was conducted by a researcher, it showed that 145 of 800 students dislike mathematics. Test if the claim was different at significance level of 0 0.05. So, unang gagawin, let us identify the population, uh, yung hypothesized proportion natin. So, kadalasan naman naka-percent sign yun. Okay? Yung hypothesized proportion natin. Kaya nga madali lang itong topic na ito, no? Uh, yung hypothesized proportion natin, madalas yan naka-percent sign. So, in this problem, the hypothesized proportion is 40% or 0.40 kapag kinonvert natin sa decimal. At kapag translate natin into symbol, so ganito natin siya ita-translate. Now, um, let us formulate now the null and alternative hypothesis. No? Yung null and alternative hypothesis. So, for null hypothesis, since uh, ano yung ano natin, yung claim niya, it has been claimed that the 40% of students dislike mathematics. So, ano yung magiging null hypothesis natin dito? The proportion of students who dislike mathematics is 40%. No? Kung dun sa unang discussion natin, ang ginagamit natin, the average of students, ngayon, proportion na. No? Proportion, pinalitan natin, yung uh, average, yung population mean ng population proportion. Proportion tayo ngayon. So, the, again, yung null hypothesis natin, the proportion of students who dislike mathematics is 40%. So, in symbol, okay, so ito yung symbol natin for null hypothesis. So, ganito natin isulat, no? Equal. Next, Yung alternative hypothesis natin, since dito sa claim niya, wala naman sinabi dyan kung greater than, above, below, less than, or not equal. So, there, uh, no, wala naman sinabi dito na greater than, less than, above, below. So, therefore, sa alternative hypothesis, no, ano lang to, di ba? Ang laging alternative hypothesis, kinokontra niya yung null hypothesis natin. Kung sa null hypothesis natin, equal so sa alternative hypothesis natin the proportion of students who dislike mathematics is not equal to 40%. So again, uh, yung alternative hypothesis kasi natin, di ba? Uh, siya yung parang contradict siya dun sa null hypothesis natin. Okay? So the proportion of students who dislike mathematics is not equal to 40%. So in symbol so, ito, not equal yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So, again, paano natin ma-identify yung hypothesis test nito? So, since not equal yung symbol na ginamit sa alternative hypothesis natin, ibig sabihin, this is a two-tailed test or non-directional. Okay, example number two. A certain senior high school plans to open Humes, Humanities, and Social Sciences as an academic track only if 63% of the students in their junior high school will enroll on the following academic year. A survey conducted among a random sample of students revealed that 485 out of 100 students will enroll. Is the expected enrollment significantly lower than the desired enrollment? So, test at the significance level of 0 0.05. So, first, okay, determine the population proportion. So, ano yung population proportion natin dito? The hypo, uh, no, the hypothesized proportion pala. The hypothesized proportion is 63% or 0 0.63. In symbol, so ito translate natin ng ganito. Formulate the null and alternative hypothesis. So, our null hypothesis, so, ang null naman lagi ay equal, no? So, the proportion of students who will enroll on Hume's track is 63%. So, in symbol, okay, so, equal yung symbol, no? Tatanda natin, kapag null hypothesis, laging uh, equal yung gagamitin nating symbol. Okay, minsan, uh, minsan may mga case na pwede na natin gamitin yung greater than or equal or less than or equal. So, next, for alternative hypothesis, since meron dito, sabi dito, is the expected enrollment significantly 
lower than. So, merong word na lower than. Okay, so lower than. So, therefore, ang gagamitin nating symbol dito. Okay, so, ang alternative hypothesis natin dito, the proportion of students who will enroll on Hume's track is lower than 63%. So, in symbol, less than yung gagamitin nating symbol for alternative hypothesis. Since less than yung ginamit sa alternative hypothesis, anong test ito? Hypothesis test. This is a one-tailed test or directional. Another example, it has been claimed that 35% of qualified applicants pass in a particular job interview. When a survey was conducted by a, res a researcher of a certain company, it showed that 95 of 155 applicants passed the job interview. So, test if the claim was larger at alpha level of 0 0.05. So, first determine the hypothesized proportion. So, the hypothesized proportion is 35% or 0 0.35. So, in Symbol, so ganito natin ita-translate into symbol. Next, formulate the null and alternative hypothesis. So our null hypothesis here, the proportion of qualified applicants in a particular job interview is 35%. So in symbol that is, your population proportion is equal to 0 0.35. And then our alternative hypothesis here, since na, uh, ang nakalagay sa problem natin, test if the claim was larger. So, merong word na larger class. Therefore, sa alternative hypothesis natin, the proportion of qualified applicants in a particular job, inter uh, job interview was larger than 35%. So, in symbol, kapag translate natin yung statement natin into symbol, greater than yung gagamitin natin. So, since greater than, yung symbol natin sa alternative hypothesis, therefore, this is a one-tailed test or directional. Next, in a public market, 65% of the vendors preferred to use plastic over paper bags. After the local ordinance was signed, 92 out of 120 randomly selected vendors preferred plastic over paper bags. Does this indicate the vendors in the public market have less preference in using paper bags? So, yes, uh, 0.05 level of significance. So, ano yung hypothesized proportion natin? That is, 65% or 0.65. So, in symbol, ganito natin. So, ano yung null hypothesis natin? So, in symbol na lang. So, the null hypothesis... So, the population proportion is equal to 0 0.65. And then, for alternative hypothesis, since meron tayo dito, does this in the vendor's public less preference? Okay? So, meron tayong less preference. So, ano yung alternative hypothesis natin? That the population proportion natin dito is less than 0 0.65. Since less than, this is a one-tailed test or directional. Okay, another example. Before the national elections, 75% of the voters in a certain town said that they preferred older senatorial candidates running for senatorial positions than younger candidates. After a certain survey was conducted, 910 of, out of 1,300 randomly selected voters preferred older senatorial candidates. Does this claim indicate that voters in the town have a greater interest in older candidates than in younger ones? Use a significance level of 0 0.05. So, the hypothesized proportion is 75% or, okay, should be 0 0.75. No, palitan lang natin. Okay, so the null hypothesis is, okay, the population proportion is equal to 0 0.75. And then, for alternative hypothesis, since meron tayo dito, does this claim indicate that the voters in towns have greater? Okay, so yung word na greater, so ibig sabihin, yung alternative hypothesis natin is, so ano kayong alternative hypothesis natin dyan? 
Since greater, so yung symbol na gagamitin natin is greater than. Therefore, this is a one-tailed test or directional. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.